So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my video. We're looking at one of the best ball strikers on the planet, one of the best players in the world, arguably one of the best drivers of all time, Rory McIlroy. And uh, very interesting here when we start to look at some of the the facts of the golf swing and uh, getting a, an insight into, you know, really what talent is all about. And this guy has uh, uh, two completely different moves in his swing. Oh, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell. Plan of videos coming your way and check out World Class Golf Instruction where we teach you guys how to teach yourselves. Probably the most detailed teaching platform out there. Now, let's have a look at this. We're going to draw a line up on the iron swing here from the side of the left leg. This is what we call the wall. And this will give us a good gauge of where he is in his backswing. We'll pop a line on the side of the head. This is some of the stuff that we teach you on World Class Golf Instruction. And really get in there and analyze uh, your own swings. Now, we can see the difference in the setup here. We see that the left arm and the shaft is obviously in one line. We can see it has a almost like a lower case Y. Now, what's interesting about this, people, is when you have a look at the amount of shaft lean with the shaft, we can see here we draw this straight up at 90 degrees. He already He's already having here 9 degrees, 81, 10 degrees of shaft lean at impact. Now, these guys, we know these guys with their middle irons or mid irons, the high irons, even the longer irons, you know, they're, they're having between around 15, 16, 17 degrees of shaft lean sometimes. So they're already stealing a few degrees here. Right? Now, when you lean this shaft here, it's important because this will help you hit it more on the way down. You won't be touching the grass before you touch the ball. We can definitely see on the other side here that the shaft it only has two degrees of shaft lean. Okay, so looking at the differences there. Now, what does he do very well in this swing? Well, he keeps himself extremely centered and gets into this, what we would call this classical L position and into a top of the backswing. He turns a lot, Rory, with his top half. He says sometimes he turns too much. And he turns a little bit past 90 degrees. Very flexible, very, very strong. Head has lowered and a great solid position, isn't it? Ball's middle are slightly left. Now we see big movement downwards and lateral. Okay, and we know that he's opening up there at the same time. But really, look at that lead foot here, just moving across, almost taking a, a step over that signature move of his. And a massive amount of movement down. It's incredible how much his head would move downwards. And we see the left leg, half of it through the wall, portion of the shoulder. And we see that the nose is over the golf ball. Great swing geometry, knee over the golf ball. Most club golfers are struggling with this move here. Now we see that the knee's already down from the knee to the angle at 67. Most club golfers here up into the 80 area, low 80s, high 70s, and really not getting the amount of lateral shift that we need to or average four to six inches. And we can see the amount of movement that he's got here. You be the judge of how much lateral movement that is. I'm looking around about six inches on this one. And getting into impact, we see that the head's moved forwards from the original position. And wham. Okay, here's the proof in the pudding. How's the shaft lean? 15 degrees on that one, up down from 90, and I got a compression line, shoulder through the wall, head forwards and down. Starts to lift up a little bit now in and around impact using that ground as leverage and into this awesome finish position that just gives his swing such a great look to it. Heads followed and got the arch of the back. What a golf swing. Now looking at the driver swing, we can see it's a little bit different. We draw a line down from the shoulder. It goes on the inside of the heel, line from the side of the head. You guys can do this yourselves through the zipper. And from the outside of the right foot, just in front of the shoulder. We see that he does it a little bit different, doesn't he? He has a bit of an inverted look here. It almost has the right foot further forwards, or sorry, the left foot further forwards. And in this type of position here, it gives him plenty of room. It also, in that type of position, there will keep the club a little bit more in front of you. If you would bring the left hip further forwards in this direction, it's a little bit easier to take the club away on the inside or too far around. And we know that Rory has mentioned that he struggles sometimes with getting a little bit underneath plane. So I'm sure this is assisting him subconsciously and also in keeping the club in front of him. All right, let's have a look at this incredible move here and compare it just to the iron swing. I think you'll find it fascinating. And when we get into this swing here, we has an L position, but what's interesting, when we're looking at the great drivers of the golf ball, they've always had the tendency to load up more onto that right leg. And we can see if I just pop a line up here, people, have a look at this, he'll actually get himself across and uh, have a bit of lateral movement and much more width you can see that right arm. Isn't that fascinating? He's got two completely different type of styles 
of a backswing here, one being extremely wide. And, you know, the driver is the lightest club, the longest club. Yeah, it's the club that we swing the fastest. It gives us more time and we load up. And uh, let's have a look what he does here when he gets up to the top of the swing. I'll just pop that line back. Sorry, I just took that off. I'll just get this line back up on this hip. And incredible strength, really, to turn that far, keep the left arm straight, load up. Look at that arm and the wrist alignment. It's fantastic. Now, that's, uh, that's a very powerful position, but it's very, very interesting to see much more width and much more weight uh, onto this trail leg. And from here, if you can get yourself into a position like that, it's... Uh, you know, it just makes it so much easier to hit great shots. Let's just get a line up from the back here up the shoulder. So he's still into the 80 degrees and the right leg you know, right up into the 83, 84 degree area. Wow. Okay, movement down and forwards. Huge lateral shift. Head starting to tilt a little bit onto the side. So the lead eye, left eye is higher than the right. Still has some room here, very important for the driver that the shoulder is not touching the wall. Not a lot of shaft lean, as great drivers do. And uh, but still leaves the T in the ground and head and chest rotating and into that just uh, incredible position here where the chest is up and the back is arched. And man, this guy can really rip it just using, and just incredible to see how far he hits the golf ball when I was teaching at the Australian Open. I stood behind him a couple of years ago. I just could not believe the the ball speed and how fast it's really uh, into the <laughs> up, up into the next level. But McElroy, there's a lot of talent for you guys. You know, looking at the, the two different types of backswing, one with much more width and loading up right, and the other one more with the L position with the iron and, and loading left. And uh, that really goes to show that what we're up against when we would be playing against such talented players. Guys, check out World Class Golf Instruction at worldclassgolf.com. Over 700 videos and one of the most detailed teaching platforms in the world.